What's going on, people? You see me here, man, with Bob Smoke TV, man. You know, last time we did an interview, man, I had a young gentleman came through as we was doing my interview. And uh, basically, uh, it was a great conversation. So check it out and see what you're inspired after that. I'm not a politician. No, I'm just a proud American that supports my country. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I want the best for my people, okay. whether it be white, black, Latino, Asian, right, right, right. doesn't matter. As long as you're an American, I want the best for you, right? Okay. So if you want the best for your community and the way to get the way to have the best for your community is by involving yourself and understanding the people of power that control what goes on in your community. Right. So you should want to be educated in politics, especially if you want change. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the trick is they told us, oh, our voting doesn't matter. If voting didn't matter, they wouldn't go so hard to manipulate you for your vote. Okay. Right or wrong? True. Why would they go so hard if it didn't I matter? Somebody wants to say if voting didn't matter, it would be if voting. I'm sorry. I, no, I, no, I, no, go ahead. Don't worry about it. But anyway, the, to in my opinion, um, I think it starts by understanding where we came from, who mm -hmm. we are. The fact that we call each other black mm -hmm. is wrong in itself. Mm -hmm. We're not black people. We're going to You're right. We're American. We're brown people. We're American. Well, I mean, before, we're not. We're not before, a. We, we, I get it. America, I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, where did we come from? Who was? What was our native tongue? What was our? Who was our God? Because mm -hmm. everything can't just be thrown into a pot as mm -hmm. if it's all the same. Because okay. everybody else, all the communities have languages. They have foods that they ate from their home. They have a homeland. This is our home because we fought for this. So we don't have to sit here and focus on where we was because it doesn't matter. It's about where we at now. And where we at now, this is where we from. This is what this is the country that's given us the best opportunity we ever had. Because wherever we're from, wherever we're from, right, supposedly, wherever we're from, we can't do what we do there, right, here. Right. Right. So it's irrelevant. I don't give a fuck about the past. Yeah, you could remember the past so you don't repeat it. But I'm not going to dwell on it. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't there. How do we keep on repeating it if we don't know? About no, 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 no. I just, like I said, I said, you should know so you don't oh, repeat okay, it. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, it's not something you should dwell on. Everybody had a bad experience in life, right? right? right. You probably lost a friend. You probably lost an animal. You right, probably right, fell. Right. You probably hurt yourself. You probably broke a bone. Something happened Everybody some has point, right? a bad experience in life. Did you allow it to affect you and stop going? No. Okay. So, so it's the same concept. And that's how we got to be us as 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 black people right colored people right, right, right. We're, we're supposed to be in that same mentality so we could be better because if you keep dwelling on your oh my i fell in hurt my knee and you just sit here and cry about it guess what you're not gonna do nothing because you're sitting there crying about it you're supposed to get up put a damn band-aid make sure you wipe it clean it whatever put your band-aid on and get up and keep it moving you understand what i'm saying right. you didn't you didn't stop so you have to look at it and say yeah it's a big band-aid for, for 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 african americans you know slavery it's a right, right. big band-aid i get it but it's still a band-aid, it's still covered. The wound is still covered. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we gotta look at it more like that. Like, listen, man, this is what we fought for. We have a lot of uh, black soldiers that died. We invested for, a lot in it. Exactly, so it. for me to say I'm gonna give up what our ancestors, the real heroes of the country, right. you know what I mean? The ones that fought for us to have these rights we have today, and I'm gonna sit there and let them disrespect that? No, this is ours, we claimed it. Okay. All right. So whether they feel like we're not from here, that's irrelevant. I am from here. I'm an American. I was born on this soil. And, he, and even if you wasn't born on this soil and you come here and you get jumped in, meaning becoming right, a right. citizen of this country, when you, you, you're you supposed to get the same privileges and rights as a, as a, as an American born person yeah. because you chose to be on this side. You Fair chose enough. you chose having democracy. You chose fairness because that's what this country is about. Fairness feel like the Republican Party best represents us? Of course, man. Why, would, why wouldn't you say that the people that freed us, the people that every time they're in office, good things happen for the country, especially regarding us colored people, why wouldn't you say they for us? When you got people that are claiming Democrats, who's the Democrats? Let me give you a little history on them. Who you think started the KKK? Democrats. Democrats. Who you think killed millions and millions and millions of over 16 million black babies? Democrats. You know who's the creator of that? Margaret Sanger. You know who was a fan of Margaret Sanger, who looked up to Margaret Sanger? Hillary Clinton. And it's on video. The same way they say Trump is racist, but you can't see one footage or anything that describes any racism that he says that's racist, ever. Margaret Sanger started uh, Planned Parenthood. Uh, yes, Planned Parenthood. Parenthood. 
Okay. And where's all the Planned Parenthoods at? In the hood. In the hood. Fertility clinics is in the opposite of the hood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They're promoting them. Okay. More we still 14% of the them. population. Right. So then you got these Democrats that are that are actually trying to implement racist laws, like trying to get rid of the Electoral College. Okay. All right? If Electoral College is basically no mass rule. Right. right? So if there's 14% black people, right? 85% white people, if there's no electoral vote, what happens? Are we ever going to win a vote? No. Nope. So if they make a vote to say we're going to kill all niggas, who's going to stop it? It's 85% of them. Yeah. How do you think Hitler was able to have millions and millions of Jews yeah, to get killed? Yeah. How do you think that happened? So you, yeah. think we, you, so you think we want a racist or, 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 or uh, uh, anti-Semitic people in the office that don't give a fuck about people? They don't give a fuck about laws? Because that's what they're representing. Yeah. You got Republicans that's telling you you can do whatever you want to do. We're not stopping you. Nobody told you you couldn't go to work. You went, got up, and got a job. Did somebody yeah. come in and stop you? No. No, you went there. You was clean. You was well-spoken. You was respectful. You was educated in what you what they needed you to do, and you got the job. Who's, like you might make a good politician. No, nah, I'm not a politician, brother. No, I'm just. No, nah, like I don't. I, I don't want to be a politician because I'm, I'm a regular. Listen, leader. I'm a regular nigga like you, my nigga. I smoke weed. I do <laughs> the same thing you do, nigga. I listen to. But you're very informed, I, though. You're yeah, very of course. No, you no. Knowledge that I can go back and. Be no, like, right, well, no. We, we can be informed. I don't want you. I don't want that concept of you, or me. It's right. not about you or me. It's about us. We should be informed as a people. Fuck individuals being informed. Fuck me being informed. Just one person. Right. It doesn't matter when it's just one person. It matters when I'm informed, you're informed, he's informed, right. they're informed. That's what matters. So I don't want to be called a politician, man. I'm a realist. You yeah. know what I mean? I deal with reality. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to run for no office. I don't want to run for my office. I got a lot of dirt in my past that motherfuckers been trying to bring up. And I don't want no part to that. And plus, like I said, I rather, I'm rather i here to make people think. My job is not to change your mind. It's only to make you think. Like I always tell people, I don't care what you think about me. Right. As long as you're thinking, I'm good. That's why I stepped up because I was like that interview made me, you know, think about some things, things that I got to go back and like look into and understand nah, look into myself. it, man. Yeah, like yeah, look no, into it, man. It and don't good. be afraid. Listen, man. Let me tell you the thing about truth. The truth is love, right? The more you know truth, the more you realize love. You know what I'm saying? Because truth is love. Anything that's real, the more real you become, the more you look at people the same way you look at yourself. Because if you're real, you don't want nobody to steal from you, right? Right. You don't want nobody to try to harm your family, rape your family. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to, you want these things, you want to be real. So because you want those things for yourself, you're going to want that for other people. Right. Right. And what does that create? Love. Because love is the truth. So when you learn the truth, you're going to automatically be a peaceful, loving person, man. And I'm telling you, there's not a Republican you meet that's an asshole unless you fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? And, but we've been, we've been, we've been punks for like the last 30 years. I'm not going to lie. We've been turning the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? But we're changing the game. We're not turning the other cheek no more. Well, in, all in all fairness, you know, we had eight years of a president that everybody loved, but can't put one thing, can't pinpoint one thing that he did for our community. You know, he did nothing. Yeah, it, but, you know, they, uh, unless you was a black gay man, then yeah, he definitely yeah. did some things for yes. you. They you know what I mean? Not to say that they're not Americans right, and they don't right, deserve right, the same. Right. It's, but that's all that. That's the only. But group that we're not all gay. That's that's there's okay. more. There's yeah. more straight people than there's gay people. No right. offense. This is no, no, reality. No, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's one percent gay people in the whole world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you sit there and people try to make this perception that it's really more, it's not. Same way with liberals. They make it seem like there's not a lot of us. There's a lot of us. Ninety-eight million of us Republicans out here. All different colors. All different backgrounds. Background, all different nationalities. All different sex orientation. Everything. You know, we got gays for Trump, blacks for Trump, Latinos for Trump, women for Trump. You name it, we got everything for Trump. But they won't show you that. They want to paint that picture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I'm here. It's to let you know that bullshit they talking about ain't no black people supporting Trump. I'm right here. I'm from the hood. I'm a former gang member. Anybody that knows what this is, I, I'm a former gang member, blood gang member. You know what I mean? I'm from the streets of New York City. I was blood when it was real, 1994. Yeah. All right? When it, when it mattered. Yeah. When it went blood hard. came out here in, in New York City in 1993. I've been blood since 1994, but I left that game in 2000 because I noticed that it wasn't something about building. Right, See, right. blood stands for brotherly love override oppression. See, B-L-O-O-D. Yeah, yeah. Brotherly love override oppression, right? At the end of the day, that's what I stand for. That's why I still represent the blood concept because I'm about brotherly love. You're my brother. I love you. What it was originally about. You know what I'm saying? What it's yeah. originally about. I love you. I want to override oppression. I want to stop the oppression that you're having, and I want to end the destruction of our people. So... 
when I say blood, I want to change the whole concept of it. It's not. It's not. It's about protecting our community and our brothers. And it doesn't have to be black, white, green, because blood is red. We all have blood, red blood, right? right. Ble if I right. cut myself, it's, it's red, right? Yeah, right? So we all related. You know what I'm saying? Because we all. Once you chop this up, we all. If we, if I rip my skin off, mm -hmm. we all look exactly the same. You understand? Whether white, black, green, yellow. If I rip my skin off, we all look exactly the same. Right. If she rip her skin off, she looks exactly like me. And this is what we're about togetherness, where Democrats and liberals are about separation. They don't respect you having your own mind. Where you never see a Republican attack somebody for having their own mind. You've never seen it. You won't find it, bro. You can go on the internet, you won't find it. You won't see uh, Republicans walk up on a dude and go, you're a Democrat? Oh my God, why are you a Democrat? You don't never see that. But I could show you millions of videos of liberals and Democrats coming, why are you wearing that black MAGA hat? Why, why, why are you wearing that MAGA hat? You're black. Isn't that racist? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's... I'm asking you a question. Isn't that racist? If you're judging... If you're t how is it not racist? If you're judging me through the color of my skin, you're thinking because I'm black, I shouldn't be wearing this hat. Okay. That's racist. That point, yeah, yeah. Right? That's racist. Okay. So, why would, why would we want to follow people that are blatantly ra racist in your face when we're out here, love everybody? I don't care if you're a Democrat. Listen, man, as long as you want the best for our country, you can be on any side. Listen, I'm blood, right? I got hundreds of Crips that fuck with me. You think I, it's not about color. Right. You can have it's a different love, opinion. Like it's said. about love, bro. You know what I mean? They want to talk about it's about love. No, it's not. You're about separation. Separation has nothing to do with love. How you have sex when you're separated? Can you make love separated? You have to be connected to make right. love, right? All right, so us as a people, we got to be connected to make love, bro. To have love. Whether white, black, green, no matter what creed, as a people, we got to be connected for there to be love. You understand what I'm saying? I definitely understand what you're saying. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to convince you to vote for anybody, but yeah, yeah, I want no, you to look I, into I, I, it. Look, have your own mind. It's just to be able to go back I, and, and say, okay, and this it, brother said this. Let me look into this. Yeah, look into that, and I promise you, when you look into that, you're going to see what I'm saying is facts. And you're gonna, the same feeling you have right here, because I know you feel it right here, right? Mm -hmm. You feel that right here, right? That feeling you have right there is going to become stronger when you research it and you read it. I promise you, when you see for yourself, that feeling you have right here, I know where you're feeling that. That right here, right? It's gonna grow, it's gonna take over your, that's that love you're feeling, cause that's the truth that's inside of you now. So now you're gonna have it fill you with so much love, bro. And thank you for not being a victim, man, and being a victor, bro. Listen, I hope y'all enjoyed that, I hope it was informative. As you see, the young man walked by and he heard our conversation and he stopped and he wanted to learn more. Hopefully you guys do the same thing, man. That young man wasn't scared to, to listen to somebody else's different opinions, and hopefully he, you know, he gets a lot from that. So, you know, if you, want to, if you want to get some more of that information from me, you can go on my website, www.kingface.net. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram, kingface underscore F1, Twitter, kingface F1. Shout out to Bob Smoke TV, man. Thank you again for the interview, bro. That was an amazing time that we had, man. The conversation was well needed for the people, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Man, it's Kingface signing out, man.